Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in West Sussex and a place I've been wanting to come to for quite a while. The remains of West Grinstead train station. Now this is all part of now what they call the Downs Link, which is a big walking trail through the old Stanning Line, which went from the south coast up to uh, towards uh, uh, Guildford. We were there actually at another station recently at Christ's Hospital when we were doing a walk back in the summer, which is another of the uh, disused stations. And they've renovated a lot of the station here, so now it's a lovely walking trail and cyclist trail. You can hear the, uh, the A272 going across the bridge there. Yeah, they've done it really, really nice. There's a signal, I think that was actually put in by a local preservation society. Yeah, let's have a little, little look around. The station was closed down in 1966 as part of the Beechings Cuts. That controversial Beechings Cuts, where a lot of uh, old railway lines and stations fell to the axe. Such a shame. But it's amazing thinking that trains would used to have come through here. Absolutely amazing. Walking through the tunnel, it makes a really weird echoey effect off the gratings on the wall. You can hear it, it's very, very echoey. Yes, Mark, because you're in a tunnel. Yeah, but it's not a very big tunnel. Here we go. So this will go straight down to the south coast. Um, so it's, yeah, it's really nice. Lots of walkers and uh, cyclists. Oh, very nice, isn't it? The Downs Link is 37 miles long, and although it's a linear route, you know you could do it over a few days, probably cycling or walking, whatever takes your fancy. What's really cool is you can actually use the handle and uh, change the signal. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Great one for the kids. Well, this signal post was rescued from a partridge green by a local farmer when the lines were removed soon after the closure in 1966. Thank you very much for that. Uh, one and three quarter miles to Copslail and 23 miles to Guildford. And they've got this lovely Mark I coach in the grounds. What a lovely idea to put this here. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. I don't think they opened this coach for... Oh, it's a museum, okay. But not open, obviously. How cool is that? We'll put around the front. No, locked. We don't want vandals, do we? We're West Grinstead, for goodness sake. Ironically, West Grinstead and East Grinstead are miles apart. Usually if an East and West, they're pretty much close and near each other. But East and West are actually, I think it's about 15 miles West, sorry, uh, East. Although private residences now, these are the old station houses that were here when the station was open. Now very nice and probably very expensive uh, houses. Very nice. So that's really interesting. So I've always wanted to come here to West Grinstead Station for many years. Um, but as we're in West Grinstead, we're going to have a little stroll down the road look at the ancient church. Let's go. <sighs> I 
It's October the 13th on the time I'm recording this and it could be June. I'm so hot. It's really lovely. Now it seems to be a little bit of activity at this church, so um, let's just see how we get on. The oldest parts of this church date back to the 11th century, the 11th century. And here's a little interesting fact that the parents of the poet Shelley were married here in 1790. That's pretty good. It's lovely. I'm, I'm not sure. I think there is something going on inside the church. I don't know if we can go in and film. We'll see. Nice little footpath just outside the church, which goes down to, uh, I'm not sure, down to a little bridge. There's a house up there, lovely open countryside. I've got this October, I'm in a t-shirt, what's going on? <laughs> Love it. We're quite lucky in the South East, it doesn't really get that cold, maybe January, but it's cool. Oh, and over a nice river. Yeah, I think it goes into someone's private dwelling, or is it a private road? You've got to be careful, as you're walking under trees, we're in that season where you're getting bashed on the head by acorns. <laughs> you know, I don't want to hit in the camera, come on. Um, that's a private house down there, little style. Um, oh, I love the doggy, doggy styles you can get your dog through, love them. Let's go up to the church. If there's loads of people in there, I'm not gonna go in because you can't really find it hard to film when you've got people in the church with you. There's some sort of service going on, so I can't go in. What a shame. It's okay. It's okay. Lots of fruit and veg. Has harvest gone? Harvest festival gone? It's of October, isn't it, time? But yeah, I won't go in with the big camera because I'll say, what are you doing? Nice old door. Grab a door. So sorry folks, can't take you in the in the church itself, but you get it. Nave nave chancel. Um and I think the vicar was in there as well, so they might have tried to convert me. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Um no, joking aside. So what we're gonna do now. I've got a lunch booked at the Windmill Inn, just down the road. That sounds uh, rather delicious, let's go. Actually, before we go, it's been quite a big event actually, because so many cars are coming down this lane to go to the church. Must be uh, some festival going on. Please close the gate because of livestock. What kind of livestock? If it's cows, ain't doing it. Glebe House, this is Glebe House just outside the church. Looks rather nice. We've got the remains of Knapp Castle nearby. The remains of the 12th century castle. But we're not going there today. I haven't got time to do the walk. But uh, yeah, Knapp Castle, I think it's just a, one of the walls uh, pillars still remains. That's in the Knapp Estate. So now we're going to head over to the Windmill Pub because there was a windmill on the site apparently um, for a pub lunch in Littleworth which is just down the road. Oh this weather is absolutely glorious.
So here we are at the 17th century Windmill Inn. It's very nice. Gonna have some grub. So there you go, a nice pub lunch in the Windmill Inn, which was absolutely delicious. I had a sirloin steak, very well done, and it was absolutely delicious, so thank you very much. So yeah, West, West Grinstead uh, Railway Station and St George's Church, which we couldn't go in, unfortunately. But still a lovely day, it's been really warm today. Uh, I'm in a t-shirt, I mean, come on, it's October, but hey, love it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care.